Hi everyone, this is Kim from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a new Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's tutorial I'll cover a topic that was added in PanOS 7.0 VSYS specific service routes. In multi-tenant deployments where each customer is configured in its own VSYS you might want to configure separate service routes for each VCS. I'll be showing this uh, feature in a PanOS software version 7.1, but note that this was already introduced in PanOS 7.0. You will find the configuration under the Device tab, Setup, Services, and notice you will see two tabs here, Global and Virtual Systems. I am assuming that you have already configured multiple virtual systems. So click the Virtual Systems tab and you will see a drop-down menu where you can select the different VCs you have configured on your device. Select the one that you would like to edit and click the Service Route Configuration. You will get two options there, Inherit Global Service Route Configuration and Customize. By default, Inherit Global Service Route Configuration is selected. That means that you will inherit all the settings from the Global tab right here. If you click the Customize tab, you will see all the services for which a VC specific service route is possible. Notice that you can do so for IPv4 and IPv6 services. Let's go ahead and change one. Let's change the source interface and by default it will select the source address that's configured on the interface. Also notice that by default you will inherit global settings. Also notice that destination-based VCS specific service routes is not possible. That is only possible in the global setting. So let's click OK here. Let's go to the global setting. Notice that in the global setting you have a lot more services for which you can configure a service route. Notice that in the global service route configuration you have the destination tab for which you can add a destination-based service route. Don't forget to commit your change. All VCs. All done. You have configured your VCs specific service route. Also in the CLI, you can verify and configure the same settings. Connect yourself to your firewall and go into configure mode. To show the current VC specific service route configuration, use the following command. Notice the syslog specific service route configuration that we have configured on VSYS1. To configure a VSYS specific service route through the CLI, use the following command. Use the tab button to see what services you can configure and you will notice the same services that you saw through the GUI. Let's add one for SNMP. Let's source it out the same interface. And don't forget to commit your change. Let's use the same command we used earlier to check the VC specific service routes.
Notice that we now have two VC specific service routes here. Here are a few documents or articles you might find useful in relation to this video. Also, should you have any more questions, don't forget to visit our live community at live.paloaltonetworks.com. That concludes this video on VC specific service routes. Thanks for watching.